Hi, I'm Bruce Naylor, your Frugal Tech, and uh, today I'd like to talk to you briefly about the importance of archiving email. If your company has its own email server, um, this is especially important to you, I think. Um, one of the products that we use here at FrugalBrothers.com every day is GFI's Mail Archiver. Uh, recently upgraded from version 4 to version 5, Mail Archiver is a wonderful tool to help you maintain the size of your Exchange server uh, database files, rapidly locate and uh, identify emails uh, by subject, by sender, uh, even uh, what's inside the body of the email or attachments. So wonderful tool, very, very inexpensive. Uh, back in uh, 2006, the Supreme Court basically made a ruling that said that email, like other types of documentation, uh, needs to be able to be produced in a discovery process under the Federal Rules of Civil Procedure. <clears throat> um, there's been a lot of interpretations of this all over the place uh, as who has to legally archive, who doesn't. We're not attorneys here, folks, but you know, it makes really good sense that you should be able to quickly locate uh, uh, emails and be able to restore them when you need to. Um, so why did we choose the GFI Mail Archiver product? Well, first off, it really integrates very, very nicely with Exchange Server. That's Exchange 2003, 2007, uh, 2000, I believe, uh, is, is all supported. Uh, the second thing is, it doesn't actually have to be installed on the Exchange Server. Rather, we put it on a, a different machine, and then we use the journaling feature to pull, pull the uh, uh, journal email box that we create in Exchange, and archive that email to a Microsoft SQL uh, database. Now out of the box, you don't have to have Microsoft SQL. It does come with uh, what's called Firebird, which is an open source SQL database product. Uh, basically, the, the cool integration with Exchange, um, it, <clears throat> it allows you, uh, as I said, to, to link your email with a journal inbox, uh, the, the journaling feature of Exchange, uh, it works in parallel uh, with the Exchange rather than uh, bringing or weighing down your Exchange server. Very, very nice. It also supports other email servers that has IMAP and Active Directory support. <clears throat> you can automatically archive all your corporate and business email into one central database. So if you do have multiple locations or multiple Exchange servers, this is a great way to get all that email into one spot. Um, as I said, you can use Microsoft SQL Server. It does come with SQL uh, uh, Firebird, which is an open source SQL server. That's probably going to be more for a lightweight, uh, low volume email situation. Um, there is multiple database support with uh, Mail Archiver. So rather than all your email being put into one large uh, database, you can break that up and can span those databases. Uh, one of the best practices we recommend is to create a SQL database every quarter and uh, back up your email. To, uh, that, that gets backed up quarterly and then uh, you can take it offline, make a uh, permanent copy of that database. Uh, that works out very, very well. Uh, when people don't delete email out of Exchange in their inbox, you start to get these really massive uh, information store in your Exchange server. <clears throat> and those can grow over a period of time. Well, the reason for that, of course, is people want to, you know, hang on to their email. They want to locate it quickly, and they kind of uh, are afraid to delete that and rely on uh, PST files and all that sort of thing. Well, Mail Archiver makes it very easy to locate a deleted email and, with a one-click, restore that email back to their inbox. So. You can, uh, you can get your users to start deleting email rather than saving the Exchange server. There's a tool that when you first install Mail Archiver, you can bring your, a lot of your old uh, email from Exchange and put it into the database. Clean all that up, shrink up that database. You're going to increase the performance of your Exchange server. You're going to be a lot happier with the way things operate that way. Um, so you can migrate your old PST files uh, on the uh, client machines. There's a uh, an agent that comes with it that will take that data and move it over to the uh, to the mail archiver product. So that's really really nice. Uh, so there's a lot of good things for a, a network administrator on the product. You can also set up email retention policies and categorization policies. Maybe you only want to 
uh, retain emails with, uh, say, WMV files for six months and then purge them out. You can do that with the Mail Archiver product. Uh, you create rules to, uh, to delete one or more emails after you know, a specific period of time. Um, maybe you want to delete all the emails in a certain department after four years or two years or whatever. Uh, Mail Archiver can do that for you through using the, uh, the rule set that come with, comes with it. <clears throat> um, there's other companies that are publicly traded. If you're a publicly traded company, um, you have to comply with what's called Sarbanes-Oxley. And you know, the requirements on that are retaining certain records upwards of seven years. And Mail Archiver makes that real easy to do. It's real simple to use, folks. Um, you can uh, create a folder in your Outlook, and then that can link to your account with uh, Mail Archiver. Bring up the Mail Archiver right through Outlook. Do a search on your, the email you want to restore. Hit one button, and it's restored to your inbox. It's really great. If you're a manager, you can look at all the emails and say the, the uh, sales department, maybe your sales manager. Uh, you can have authority to look at groups of users' email, or if you're, of course, the administrator, then you can, uh, you know, work with them all. So you do have different groups that you can look at. Um, you also have uh, the right to uh, to grant a user viewing rights to all email on a, you know, a specific active directory group. So, uh, for example, uh, as I said, <clears throat> if uh, you're a sales manager, you just look at those. Um, you can make sure that the emails haven't been tampered as well. There's an auditing functionality within the software uh, that uh, will ensure that all your uh, archived emails haven't been tampered with. So that's a very, very ni nice tool. So how that works is it using the, uh, uses the trace capabilities of your SQL server uh, that records all the activity uh, that's uh, touching that uh, mail archiver database. Uh, so, <clears throat> we kind of just touched on the administrator, uh, some of the things that are important to an administrator, but what about the clients? Uh, what about the users of the software? Well, <clears throat> they can access their email anywhere uh, and from any location with the web browser. Uh, you can set up Mail Archiver to be viewable over the internet and the user can log in with their credentials and uh, run a search. You know, maybe they're at a you know, at a coffee shop, something like that, they go, man, I need this email. They can just log right in, find that email, and restore it through their inbox. They, there's really some very, very advanced search capabilities in the Mail Archiver product. You can search, as I said, by sender, by content, um, date, uh, uh, attachments. All that is built into the software. <clears throat> and we think that's a real, real powerful feature uh, of the software. The one-click restore to um, uh, restore a single uh, email to an inbox is just that simple, folks. You run your search, you highlight that email, click the one button, boom, it's right back. Those are just some of the features of the, the Mail Archiver product. Very easy to use, very very inexpensive, very frugal project, uh, a product as compared to many many others. There, um, it doesn't replace your email system with a database or links to a database. So you don't have to worry about another point of failure. Uh, and a lot of other archiving products, that's exactly what they do. They're replacing the actual emails with links to a database. That breaks down, boom, you're gone. You're going to have a real, uh, real problem there. So that's a point of failure. It's totally eliminated with the Mail Archiver product. We think that it's an excellent value for the money. It's very simple to install and get using. We'll think you'll like it uh, here at Frugal Brothers. Check it out for yourself. You can get a free 30-day evaluation of the software. Uh, we use it every day here, folks. Uh, it's worked wonderfully. We've never had a single glitch with the product. And but try it for yourselves, and uh, you'll see what, what, uh, what we mean. So uh, remember, if it's not making you money or saving you money, it shouldn't mean you're shop. I'm Bruce Naylor of Frugal Tech. Make sure to join us every Tuesday from 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. at www.frugalbrothers.com for free tech support on our The Frugal Technology Show. Thank you and have a good day.